suburb of Akron. Our 14th and final stop for 1994 here on ABC Television. Handshake for the semifinal game. 42 championships between the two pros. 21 titles for Marshall Holman, to whom you're looking, and the same for Pete Weber, who has two victories today. Number one and two in all time professional bowling semifinal match. What a stubborn four. Pete Weber has won his matches by keeping the ball in play, not getting the big open frames and letting his opponent defeat themselves. Fair for Pete Weber. Now, first time today in competition, you get a look at 39-year-old Marshall Holman. 21 titles, PBA Hall of Famer. A bad shot shoot now the shoot he's been uh, having some trouble getting the the big power but Holman absolutely a little shorter with his backswing than we normally see but everything in perfect position I believe fundamentally if for power accuracy arm swing and approach the best I've ever seen articulate he bubbles and here you see the all-time earnings leaders. Not much difference. If Marshall should win today and Pete lose this game they're playing now, Marshall would regain the number one spot because it's 43,013 for losing this game. A little arithmetic, $18,307 difference, and that's American dollars, not Canadian. <laughs> the Marshall Holman that we've gotten to know from Medford, Oregon. Last win was in Venice, Florida in 1988. He's been on 17 telecasts since his last win. Weber up near the top all week long, 42 games, 18 qualifying, 24 finals, and he's defeated two opponents. This is the semifinal. Weber just out of time on that particular shot. His arm got a little bit away from his body. He cut right across. Look at he cut across his body instead of getting it out near the third arrow. It was close to the fourth arrow. Never gave it a chance. The 3 6 10. Now, Pete Weber on the right hand lane is playing right around the between the third and fourth arrows. And on this lane here, he's trying to get the ball right around the third arrow and you slide in this zone and use a little bit less speed because this lane is tighter. Twelve strikes coming into this semifinal match, Pete Weber. And there is the first of this game. Marshall Holman defeated Pete Weber in the 42nd final game last night with an exciting 250 game. Let's see what happens today. Marshall takes a 13 10 lead. Besides his great natural ability, Holman has two things I think he does as well as anybody I've ever seen play the game. Number one, he keeps his head nice and steady. There's no bobbing up and down. And number two, he has the golden arm swing always in line with his target. He opens the right shoulder, the right hip, but they're always parallel to his arm swing and to the target line. He has a 13 pin lead, can make a 23. All but a seven. Four handicap golfer. Weber has a handicap of nine. Here's that real good swing. Doesn't catch all the lift. But once again, a game played with a round ball, i.e. bowling, is 95% accuracy. Holman put the ball in play, and he gets away with an easy spare. Okay, our semifinal game. About a third way through, a 12-pin lead by Marshall Holman. Toronto home is, uh, Toronto is home to Casa Loma, a majestic landmark. It's the legacy of Canadian financier, Sir Henry Mill Pilat. 
This is the round room. Can't corner them there, can you? And this is the conservatory. We're looking at Alessandra Scarpitti, whose dad is mayor of Markham, Ontario, Canada. There's dad, Mr. Mayor. The leading man in the average department, too, is Walter Ray Williams, Jr., 226. Here he is. I think so, too. Oh, and then came a scout. Weber gets a great break. It'll probably be the three pin off the right sideboard. There it goes to the sideboard and takes out the four. Unusual pin action. He puts Marshall Holman in arrears by eight. Oh, tough break. Tough, tough, tough. Well, you're entitled to one mistake every championship round game. Marshall's got his, gotten his out of the way. Make the 4-7. Forget about it. Just get over in here. Bounce gets these two out. Forget about bouncing it out and get back on with the business of throwing some strikes. Now here's a key frame for Marshall Holman. A great player like Marshall doesn't go into a slump physically. He goes into a slump mentally. He needs a good frame or two here for his confidence to realize that he is still one of the best in the world. Two five for Marshall Holman, who's um, most recent TV was fourth seed, and he finished fourth in the AC Delco. Slides by on the left-hand lane, the tighter of the two lanes, leaves the 2-5. Has a different spare-making technique, which has worked for him. He throws a top spin shot. Watch this. Cuts the hook way down. <laughs> Marshall's hand just comes right over the top of the ball. That's an ineffective roll, and that's what you need to make spares. But he's opened the door for Pete Weber, three in a row, and take a 32-pin lead, six frame. But a seven. The wall shot. Weber sends the ball a little bit wider than we've seen during the other games. Had been the side.